morning after a wonderful wishing well. Would that I could, but without my dear brother, I'm a woeful wisp of my former wonderment. We work in tandem, you see, and Willie's always been stronger. He might manage to work alone, but I'm a weakling without him with me. I'm Walter Wellington with Wishing Well. Well met. Won't you call me Polly, though? It was that my brother William, why he was a winsome well, would hand out wishes with me. But he's since been whisked off to somewhere wild and wintry, and poor Wally's been left to whinge and wax all by his onesie. Oh, my poor wayward William. He was snatched away by the wicked Winter King and whisked into a wild world of whirling snow. I wonder, would you be willing to take a whack at bringing Willie back? I would weep wishes for weeks if I could see him again. I could teleport you to the Winterland right now. Give Willie my regards. Send him my good wishes. Now wave. Bye bye.
Toasty! Honored to meet you. Wish I was a sauce hunter. Dangerous line of work. But it's a damn sight more glorious than being a legionnaire. Well, hello there! Feeling hot under the collar! Honored to meet you. Wish I was a sauce hunter. Dangerous line of work, but it's a damn sight more glorious than being a legionnaire. Toasty! Oh, but don't you worry, milady. We leave Legion's greetings. I have been informed about your heroics on the beach. Word that I had been there to partake in the battle. But my duties lie here, sworn as I am to protect Lady Esmeralda from the rabble that would enforce summary justice on her, even though she is, until proven guilty, wholly innocent. I am Septimus, seventh son in a household of nine, legionnaires all. Me and two brothers of mine were assigned to Cicel from day one. Alas, both of them have long since fallen in battle against the dead. But never shall I lose heart. Long as a single legionnaire stands, all of us remain undefeated in the eyes of the gods. So fair a lady I have seldom seen in all of Rivalon, my friend. And I have traveled more extensively than my greatery birds do. She stands accused of murder. But in my mind, her presumed guilt is a fallacy, and indeed a fabrication. Steadfast will I guard her. Never will I waver unless absolute proof of her culpability should be brought before me. And I hold no such proof exists. Jake's murder is, in a word, a tragedy. He was well-loved in all of Sicile. The Council of Seven couldn't have wished for a better ambassador. That he of all people should have braved the undead siege for so long, only to be felled by foul sorcery, is heartrending. And what questions are those? I hold by the belief that this place is cursed. First, the undead, who are getting more vicious by the day, mind. Then the orcs who don't seem to understand when a war's been lost. Something about this place seems to inspire the worst in those savages. Proper soldiers shouldn't be ordered to fight such unnatural abominations. We used to cut them limb from limb by the dozen, only to see a gross of them rise from the ground and stalk out of long abandoned cellars. Accursed are their souls, and accursed are ours too for having to look upon them day after sorry day. Legion's greetings, Hunter. Assure me, dear, so that item interests you, yes? I can let you have it for a very reasonable price indeed. Lords above, grant me patience. You're a source hunter, aren't you? Here because you think I killed my husband. 
how many times do I need to state and restate my complete innocence in the matter? Like I told just about every legionnaire in town, I don't know anything about poor Jake's murder. I want his killer found and tried, but everyone suspects me of this evil deed. And you're no different, are you? So what happened? Some of them tittle-tattling crab chasers down the pub call me a murderous gold digger and you believe them? These insinuations truly go beyond the pale. Oh, I think I'm getting one of my headaches. Well, what do you want to know?